Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share a little design trick with you, and that's how to add a color overlay to your images. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every single week all about making the tech in your online business easier. So if that is something that you need some help with, make sure that you hit subscribe down below and that you hit that little bell icon so you get notified every time I post something new. All right, so here's how to add a color overlay to your images. So first things first, we need to start with an image. I'm on pexels.com, which is one of my favorite sites for free stock photos. And I've found a photo that I want to use. So this photo here, I'm just going to click on it and then I'm going to click free download. Awesome. Then what we want to do is open up our photo. I'm on a Mac, so this is going to open up in preview. And then I can click tools, adjust size, so that I can see the size of the image, okay? So this is 2000 by 1092 pixels, okay? So if you're on a PC, just open it up uh, where you can view the photo size. So next we're going to go into Canva. So Canva is my favorite free software for non-designers. And what you're going to do is click use custom dimensions. And now you're going to type in those dimensions. So 2000 by 1092 pixels. So from the drop down here, you can select um, your measurement, but I like to work in pixels, which is PX. And then you're going to click design. So all we're doing here is ensuring that our canvas matches the size of our image. Next, we're going to go into uploads and we're going to upload our image. So I just click upload your own images grab that image and give it a sec to upload. All right, great. So now all you need to do is click on that and then you're going to want to drag it to the edges so that it fills the entire area. Okay, so now for the fun part, now we are going to add the image overlay. So in order to do this, you are going to click on elements and then shapes and select the square, okay? And then again, you can drag this out and you want to cover your image in full. Okay, awesome. So then what you're going to do is go up here and select the color that you would like your overlay to be. Now, if you have your brand colors, you can just click on the plus sign here and you can actually input your color code here or you can also select it from the wheel just by moving this around, or you can actually save them within Canva like I have done here. So I'm going to use my color palette for website that wows. So let's start with the pink. So let's say I wanted a pink color overlay. I'm going to click on that and then it's super simple. All I need to do is come up over here to where it uh, has the transparency. I'm going to click on that and then you just need to drag this over to the left and this is going to give you that pink overlay look. Now I have to mention I am using the regular Canva. I have not yet switched over to Canva 2.0 so this might look a little different for you if you are using that version. So I'll demo in a second what it would look like there. But yeah, so it's up to you in terms of how strong you want the pink to be. All you need to do is move this back and forth to determine how strong you want your color overlay. So for example, if I wanted it really subtle, I could just put it somewhere like down here. But in general, for this effect, I like it to be somewhere around this number here, so around 74. So this is really cool because it can make your stock photos look more unique and more on brand. And again, you can do this with any of your colors. So let me show you my navy color from my color palette, or we could do my light green or my brighter green. <laughs> all right, cool. So out of those, I actually like the pink one the best. And then all you need to do is hit download as a PNG and download. Okay, great. Now I'm going to open that up. 
And as you can see, it now has a color overlay. And here's an example of how that overlay would look on your website. If you are already using Canva 2.0, the process is very similar. You're just going to click custom dimensions, type in the width and the height, click create new design, go over to uploads and again, upload an image, resize that to the edges and then go over to elements, shapes, so we need to find our shape over here. <laughs> Grab the square one and then resize that so that it covers your photo. Select your color from up top. Change the transparency right over here. And then you're going to hit the download button which is now up here and keep the file type as PNG and click download. So it just looks a little bit different, but functions mostly the same. If you're wondering why I haven't switched to 2.0 yet, they're still making changes, um, but as soon as things are all ready to go and flipping over, I will make more tutorials on that. All right guys, that's it for this video. I can't wait to see how you work this into your designs. If you haven't yet, make sure that you hit subscribe. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leaving me a comment down below. And I'll see you guys soon with another video.